All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, weather warmed up a little bit, so I snuck Zoe out here. Um, it's middle of the day, late start. Just got the suckers down. So what, what I'm doing is I'm putting focus on brake lines, deep brake lines right now. You can see if I mark any fish out here. Um, really looking for bait off of the off of uh, deep weed edges is my focus to start this day. And if I'm not seeing fish, I will adjust from there. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it's a good day. I mean, it's great weather. It's overcast. It's it's a south southwest wind. Um, so it's been a, it's a wind change from what we've had. Great conditions to uh, be out here soaking suckers. The water temps 44 and a half degrees. Found some warm water on a lake here. So uh, I'm gonna get to fishing. I'm gonna do some casting, and we'll see what happens. Well, that didn't take long. It's a good sized fish too. Marked it on side and uh, looked over and it was just doubled over. Drag wasn't taken too well. Now this guy, you're going to need problems. I don't know, a little bit of chaos when you're doing this. Well, yeah, it looks like a decent fish here, so we're going to catch up to it quick and Get right on top, figure out what direction it's going, and set back into it. I'm gonna get all things out of my way. So she's facing the wrong direction here. I don't want her facing the direction she's facing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, definitely look like a nice fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, beautiful. And she just came off. Wow, awesome. Huh? That is awesome. Um, so as you see Zoe's back out it warmed up 
was able to get Zoe back out here and we haven't been out here fishing 10, 15 minutes. I happened to glance down at the side imaging, saw the mark, looked at the side rod, the down rod, and it was doubled over and I watched this fish swim away with the sucker just T-boned. Um, it is a big fish. Uh, so I'm gonna show you and then put it back in the net and get a couple stills. Um, glad Zoe was able to get back out my, my lucky charm that she is. Oh my gosh, what a, what a tank. Just a fat fall Wisconsin Buick. Just amazing. Let's put her on the bump. We got 47. <laughs> Jeez, just a tank. All right, I'm gonna put her back in the net and get a couple stills and then get this beautiful fish swimming again. That was awesome. I just released that fish and the sucker just got ate again. I, unbelievable. There's only one hook in the sucker. I seriously doubt I'm gonna get this fish. I mean, the net's still in the musky, buddy. This is crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. So all I can do is try. That fish is definitely still on. I, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know. I've only got one hook in this sucker. So again, I cannot be disappointed if I do not get this fish. I wish I would have took the back sucker. I guess that's all I can say. Going away. Got her. Another nice one. She's got hooks. Got one hook. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that's that's called the fall sucker bite window. And that is why we film. If I were to tell that story, no one would have believed it. You get to see it. You can't make it up. That, that was absolutely insane. Uh, that sucker had just been eat. I had literally just let go of that fish and that rod took off with that sucker, that that 47 T-boned, there was one treble hook left in its back and I just hung it over the side. And all of a sudden that rod went as that fish went out. Um, I was uh, surprised I got it with only one hook. I actually got it uh, really well. This fish is a lot smaller, but uh, it's just another reason I run cameras. If I were to tell this story, only, only my close friends would believe that that just happened. Um, and uh, what a last day uh, here for Zoe. She, uh, well, maybe it's her last day. I don't know, I might have to get her a winter coat and take her take her all the way through December with me because uh, she is definitely my lucky charm. Uh, we're gonna pull this fish out, get a, get a measurement here. So we stepped on the trolling motor. Get a measurement, uh, it's significantly smaller than the last fish, which I don't care. It could be a 30 inch fish. That was just an awesome experience. All right. So yeah, you know, still a, a really nice fish, really nice Wisconsin fish. Um, gosh, 
you, you, soccer fishing, man, there's nothing else to say. We're just gonna get a bump, uh, 40 and a half stuff. <laughs> awesome fish. We're gonna, we're gonna get him back and uh, we're obviously in a crazy bite window, so I kinda wanna keep going.